Can we start yeah. with uh, an update on the squad? Will you have any players back? Philip Billing, will he be uh, available this weekend? Uh, I think so. He trained yesterday, made a good impression, so hopefully today he could also train as, uh, as good as yesterday. So I'm looking forward that he's uh, a part of the squad. Transfer deadline day. Can we expect any activity in or out today? Probably not. Probably not. As I said, um, we have to make sure that we make things which are sensible for us. What was the, what was the term? Sensible. Sensible, yeah, sensible. And uh, probably not. You have got one player in, though, Carl and Grant. What could, can you tell us about him? Um, yesterday he joined his first training session. I, I know that he's a hungry one, very hungry to score goals. And that's what I liked. And I look at him in the recruitment, was aware of him. Uh, the most important thing is that he's playing on the shoulder and he loves the runs in behind. And maybe you saw my game and saw that there were some situations like this, so uh, he fits in the profile. He's come from League One. Is he ready to step straight into a Premier League relegation battle? Uh, he's quite brave, I think. He's a guy who says he didn't come to hide. Didn't come here to hide, so uh, yeah, maybe he's already an option. At the bottom of the table now, you're 12 points from safety. Does that change the approach for the rest of the season? Do you have to be adventurous and look for three points in every game? Yes, definitely. Uh, and I'm still convinced, is it the term convinced? Because I saw what happened within the first 10 minutes in the game, but then I saw the following 70 minutes, which really made me proud, as I said. Um, and there were possibilities for us to get the game in our direction. Um, but I still, of course, have to mention that I'm not a magician. I came here because I am known for de to develop something, develop players and um, develop a certain style of play. And this makes me proud and this makes me still confident that we, we focus each game um, as it's given to us and in the tasks which are given in these games to us. And it makes me... Um, yeah, it makes me clear that I really know that we go for three points for each game. Chelsea next up then. They suffered a, a heavy defeat against Bournemouth. Is this a good time to be playing off the back of that game? You know, there's never a good time in such moments, you know, so um, it's just a task which we are given in this game and I focus really on the task, so um, I think they uh, they lost yesterday. For me, it was just a good possibility to observe Chelsea, uh, Chelsea once more. So uh, I know the situations in, um, in which could bring them difficulties. Yeah. So uh, I'm focusing that and not what happened in the last game in Bournemouth. Their coach talked after the game about having difficulty motivating okay. the players. What did you make of those comments? Nothing. Nothing. And of course. Huddersfield, at the end of last season, survived in the Premier League with a draw at Chelsea. Can, can the players you, use that positive experience in a good way this weekend? I think so, because each positive uh, aspect which they, which they won out of such games made them even stronger. And uh, yeah, I think there's a po there was a positive result and they keep that in their, in their minds. Aaron Moy returned in midweek from the bench and made an immediate impact, gave the crowd a huge lift. How important is it to have him back? It's really important because he has an impact on the team and uh, as you saw with the three kick, he's dangerous in set place. Um, but as you also could see, it's not easy after such a long time to come back uh, and to be directly, uh, what we say, um, within the game. So uh, he's developing more and more and each training session is, is bringing him uh, into the starting eleven. You won't, you won't be going there with a defensive approach. We have to, to look forward. And to look forward, you have to play forward. So, um, this is my explanation to your, to your question. And just, just sort of adding to what you said there, is it, is it the worst time or the best time to, to play some? Because obviously, hearing what Sarri's had to say, those Chelsea players will want a reaction to that as well. I don't think football like that. Because I said every game is different, and um, no matter which situation they have, no matter um, no matter which situation we have, um, do your work and do it constantly, and do it in the way that you get profits from it. And this is what I'm doing. So I don't judge about the situation there at the moment.